Well, here's a thought for you. Our high today was 49 degrees. Tomorrow, I am expecting 59 degrees. So some of you get to flirt with 60 degrees, especially if you're away from the lake. We're standing at 44 right now, but it's that wind off the water out of the east at 11 that is keeping the temperatures downtown downright chilly. In fact, at the lakefront, it's in the upper 30s. Also in Whiting, we have 39 degrees. But when you head west to LaGrange, we're at 45, Elmhurst 45, Wheaton 46, and Bolingbrook checking in now with 45 degrees. So that water temperature is in the low 40s, so that's why it feels so chilly downtown. Now the rain stayed away today. The storm track passed to the south of us, but that cloud shield was close enough to keep that high thin overcast around much of the day. But the rain, it stayed away and it's not coming our way tonight. In fact, we'll be mostly cloudy from that system and we'll also introduce some patchy fog around with a low temperature of about 34 degrees. So in the morning, visibility could be near zero, especially in the south and west suburbs, maybe even up into McHenry County too. Our visibility tracker is showing zero visibility in Kankakee tomorrow morning at 8. So keep that in mind. If you have to drive around early, you may have pockets of dense fog. Then it lifts. Then we have sunshine here through the middle part of the day. And we're hoping that wind flow out of the south and southwest is dominant enough to cut off any lakefront cooling and take that temperature into the upper 50s. After the sun sets, we start watching for rain showers from the next system that would be moving in tomorrow night. But in the meantime, during the day when we hit these high temperatures, we will be dry and enjoying a little bit of sunshine. So 59 in Joliet and around Midway in the neighborhoods there, 56 in Waukegan, 57 degrees in Valparaiso. So 59 tomorrow. Thursday then another chance of rain moving in. We're actually going to have a little parade of systems that are going to be moving our way, introducing the rain. So kind of showery there Thursday afternoon. I think the greatest threat for rain and maybe some thunderstorm activity starts building late Friday night, but especially on Saturday when we hit 62 degrees. All right. Thank you, Mary Kay.